Howdy. Take a moment to show you people just how difficult it is to get into the aircraft commander station in the B-36 flight deck. Mind you, I'm 5'11", I weigh 220 pounds. You have to squeeze in through here with just enough room for your chest and your back to fit behind the canopy. And then you gotta drop your hand right here. And then assuming the yoke is installed, you have to contend with that. So you have to slide your foot between the control column and the seat and then drop in. Of course, the seat should be reclinable, moves on its track forward and aft and up and down. Mine's stationary temporarily. A uh, few things, details. Uh, everything is functional the way it should be in the aircraft, in the real aircraft. Um, all the switches, all the guards. Uh, this hatch drops down. The throttle control works. Throttle lock works. All these levers work. Um, the ground tractor wheel works. I wish it were linked. I'm getting there. And of course, these escape hatches work. Um, that's about it. Don't think for a second that I'm skimming over the details. Uh, if I see a detail in a book or in a picture or whatnot, I incorporate it. This, this is not something that you can sit in and find. The, the inaccuracies are so subtle that you would have to study and compare a very long time, probably a lot longer than a normal person would do. So this, this is something that even an expert is gonna be able to get into and they're convinced they're in a real B-36. I often am convinced with my photographs that I'm looking at one of the surviving aircraft. It's, it's, it's weird, it's a weird sensation in my brain to say the very least, but it's solid. Everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. Like I said, I wish I had engineering drawings. So in, in terms of the size and how this stuff was made to be serviceable for, you know, extraction of the main panel, installation, access panels, etc. But I simply don't have those drawings. I say that a lot because it means that it's a big deal to me. If I had those drawings, I probably would have used squash rivets and put holes you know, I use 10 rivets for a junction, whereas Condair used 30. But, see you next time.